Hello all. Good morning, good evening, or good afternoon, based on wherever you are. So, as we are discussing what's new in Business Central 25 or BC 2024 release wave two, let's talk about what's going away. So, for all these years, after the announcement of Business Central, we had been in cloud. We are using Extension Marketplace to get access to new extension that I need on my environment. But in Business Central 25, Microsoft have announced the deprecation of Extension Marketplace, and this will be replaced with something called as Microsoft App Source Apps. It's an in-client gallery which is available inside Business Central, and we did talked about it when it was released in the last release, if I'm not wrong. But let's understand what's changed for us at this moment. So let's get into it and let's start looking into it. So let's first see what was there earlier. So this is my Business Central 24 environment, and in Business Central Cloud, if I have to get a new extension which is available on the App Source, I'd go into Extension Management or Extension Marketplace, and from here I can access the Extension Marketplace, which is the same thing that we are seeing there. On this page, it shows you a list of all the extension that are available on app source and you can pick and choose them now let's look at it from a business central 25 perspective so now if i search for extension marketplace i'll find nothing but if i do extension management and i look here you'll see a new icon here called app source gallery now this is the new way of getting access to app source extension so when you click on it you might get a confirmation message for the first time because it is based on api request that gets refreshed when you call it i did it always allow so that's why i'm not seeing it here you will see all the extension that are available and you will be able to utilize them from this page so now if you look at it there are some views already created you can look for top rated apps so it'll show you what are the top rated apps based on average rating or you can look for popular apps which is doing a search or shorting based on uh, popularity or you can see which of the apps which have recent enhancement made by the publisher who built it so you will see all those apps here or if you have you can just see it here right you can surely apply filter so if you have a preferred partner you can surely filter on their name and then use them okay you can also see everything here so you don't have to go out on app source and then identify which of these i need so if i come here and see some of these and if you see i'm keep on scrolling and there are a lot of apps from different partners so it's easier that way to find out which app you need so now let's look at this one. Let me filter out the Dehe Consulting. And if you see, I've just applied the filter here by doing the filter on the publisher name. And you can see all the names, all the apps, right? So these are all the apps. You can then short it out based on rating on this filtered list and see which of them there is the most popular app. Or you can do a popularity syntax uh, shorting. At this point, you can also see is this extension installed on your environment or not. And if I have to install it, let's try this. What happens? Okay. So when I click on it, it gives me all the details. What is the display name? Who's the publisher? Uh, what it does? Hopefully, that's here. All the description. Which editions it support, and which countries it do support for. Okay. Now let's think about installing this. What happens? So I can see it on App Source if I need or I can install it on App Source. So if I, from App Source. So if I have to view how the listing is, I can see it here that there's a free trial for it. And uh, this is all the details with images and video from the partner. Or I can just do an install from App Source. And it'll take me here and it is not getting installed. Wow, okay. So let me do a free trial and let me see what happens now okay 
so this is refreshing and hopefully it goes back to my business central and now it asks me to choose on which environment I would like to publish it and I have four of them so I can say okay BC 25 preview and I click OK and at the same time the installation kind of kicks on and we are able to get into the extension installation which automatically let me install it if I need it from here okay, which I'm not going to do right now but you can pick your extension that you need and then you can install them from this new page which is called as Microsoft App Source Apps. Now the title of the video says the extension marketplace will be Microsoft App Source App. But surprisingly when I'm looking for that page in my business Central 25 symbols called extension marketplace the page is still there and if you look at it this is already obsolete uh, in version 24 and it says it will replace the Microsoft App Source app feature will replace the Microsoft extension marketplace or extension marketplace but it is not will it's already done I can't see it I can't search this page on my client but now let's look at this App Source app I haven't checked it but let's look at it together if that makes sense okay I don't see it here okay that's an interesting take on it okay let me see is it here I doubt maybe it's in the base app I'm not sure I can see it on the client I guess so let's go there back into my client and see what page or which extension it is coming from so if I look at it it comes from extension called system application and the page is oh the page name is different it's called app source product list so now if I go back to my VS code and from my system application when I was thinking it's there here it is app source product list which displays all the extensions that I have and if you look into let's see on open page it says uh, reload all products so a, every time you open the page it kind of makes a refreshed fetch of all the apps available on the app source uh, for business central and then it says get the copy of the rec and then it gets the product and populate records and then it copies everything and do this so this is the table where it is getting stored and let's see what the table look like so this is temporary table so that's okay and these are all the fields that are providing you all the insights around those apps okay so this is reload all apps and then this function is just doing a copy of the rec and then calling this method to get products and populate records now this will be interesting to see because I'm hoping this is an API call but let's have a look app source product manager and here it is okay so it's using rest client if you don't know about it let me know in the comments of this video and we'll talk about it someday but it construct a product list URI and then it initialized the rest client which is a new code unit in business central and then if it is SAS if it is not SAS then there is an error if should set common header then it sets it and then it downloads next and product header so it just downloads all the detail using the API inside business central so that you can see it so every time you open that page you always get the latest set of info from it all right now if you look at the URL preparation here here it is building the URL which is first pointing to a label which is oh, I cannot see it but then it applies a filter of product type equal to BC and then it does uh, fetches all these details and then the display name as ascending and then that builds the whole URL which then passed to an API call and that responds and then that data is utilized here on this function or procedure or method whatever you like to call it 
and then that data kind of gets stored into that table so using this api method it always fetches the latest set of info from your app source rather than being in static info which uh, would you know not reflecting the true reality at this moment so you'll always whenever you open this page you'll always find the latest updates on all the apps on this page so if you have a habit if you are on business central saas of going into extension marketplace just think about it that that page has been marked as obsolete and will be removed sooner than later and you should be choosing app source gallery on your extension management or on your search uh, search bar to find out all the apps that are available on app source for business central hope this video makes sense if it doesn't that's okay you know the drill if you like the content hit the like button if you think this is the information that your customers and your fellow business central developers and consultants should know about share it on social media and if you haven't then please do subscribe to the channel and please 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 do subscribe to the channel because there are a lot of videos coming on bc25 is app uh, maybe one video every day going forward so stay connected and i'll see you sooner than later into the next video in the series till then keep learning keep sharing whatever you're learning and thank you have a nice day